Hello guys, my name is Dennis. Here I am again, and I would like to say a big thank you for all the support that you guys have given me on my first video. And in that video, I had a question. Uh, I ended up with a question that why don't we feel the motion of the Earth while it's revolving and rotating? So that's a pretty simple principle. Like when you are sitting in a moving plane and when you close your eyes, you don't feel the plane moving. That is because everything inside the plane is moving with the same speed as of the plane. So that's the reason you are at rest. So you don't feel anything. The same theory applies for the Earth as well. When the Earth is moving, you are moving with it, but you are at rest. That's the reason you cannot feel the motion of the Earth. But in this particular video, we are going to talk about something else. We are going to talk about: Is it possible to go in the future? And if it is, then how is it possible? So to go to the future, you need to go to the US first, and then you have to go to the NASA headquarters. and you have to ask them that can i get one uh, spaceship and one space suit and everything that i need to go to the future so the people of nasa will ask you that so you want to go to the future and you'll be like yes i want to so if they don't kick you out of the nasa headquarters and if they give you everything you want then consider yourself lucky because you're going to the future now so what you need to do is you have to take off from the earth and you need to find a black hole and make a round trip of it and come back to earth so when you come back to earth you'll notice that you are in the future for example if it takes you 1 year to make a round trip around the black hole and come back to earth you'll notice that you are 15 to 20 years ahead in future to understand a bit about black holes you guys should know how does gravity actually work so the people who haven't watched my first video here's the i card you can press this i card to Watch my first video on YouTube about gravitation. So I think I've got the best example to make you understand how does this work. So me and my friend are going towards a black hole in a rocket or a ship, spaceship. So when we reach near the black hole, okay, when we reach near the black hole, what I do is I get out of the ship in a space suit, obviously. I get out of the ship, and what I do is I face towards the ship and fall backwards. into the black hole and my friend is watching me from the ship so we both are observing each other so as i fall backwards into the black hole he notices that as i move near to the black hole i start to get slower in speed so what happens is that time passes slow around the black hole respective of the solar system and the universe but for the people who are watching you fall into a black hole or moving around the black hole might see you moving very slowly as you approach the black hole so for you when you take a round of the black hole in like one or two months you are actually moving slow in time with respect to the people on earth so they are moving faster than time so when you take a full round trip and come back to earth you'll notice that people on earth have lived more than you so that is how you can go into the future Okay so a lot of talking about the future can we go into the past so that is a question i would answer in my next video so be tuned for my next video because i'm going to answer if we can go into the past so i hope you guys got to learn something new from this video and if you like my channel please uh, subscribe my channel like my video and keep sharing it and thank you again for all the support thank you